Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Remco from rjvdtars.com. Proud to show you this week's new arrivals and we're gonna start off with a spectacular one, the Gibson EDS-1275 double neck, the Jimmy Page one. It's a new run by Gibson, only 50 in this collector's edition and they're all played and signed by the legend himself. They made a run of these before, but now this time they do include the pick Jimmy Page actually used on this guitar JP10. They scanned all the measurements, the output, matched the color with the original. So this is a pretty cool collectible indeed. This guitar was ordered by me for a client. So now it's going to be full water to him, but I uh, still wanted to show you this one. I also received JP20 for another client. So there were two here at the shop, but now they're both gone to the owners. But uh, too cool not to include in this week's new arrivals. Okay, at the guitar show last week, I purchased this one for from a client. A beautiful 1960 heavy relic in shell pink. I love these, these custom colors and take a look at the beautiful finish checking and the wood grains with a nice slab board and everything included. The, the strap, the ashtray, the floor traveler, the certificate, all the good stuff. Brown Tolex case on this one. Another purchase from the show, a 1963 relic. This time in black finish. Beautiful piece as well. Check out the checking. This one comes in a tweed case. Not period correct, but uh, it's an original Fender case nonetheless. This one has the certificate as well. No strap with this one. But some tags and an ashtray as well. Okay, on to the next one. Another sh guitar show purchase. I have never seen this one before. After some research, it appeared to be a special run by the Musician's Friend Shop in the USA. It's an R4, so 1954 historic, but with three P90s. And it's also a cloud guitar, which means it's one of the lighter weights one. It's chambered. I will weigh it and put the weight on my website. It's a really, really special one, only a few made. I have a letter from Gibson, it's in Dutch, but they explain that it was made for a musician's friend and uh, only a few made. I think if you email the custom shop, they can tell you the info in English. So it comes with a checklist, original case, and the older style certificate. It's already a few years old. Okay, now let's do a sewer. Also a black strat, but this time from Sur. A great, great builder. Those are just reflections you see there. Not a big ding or finish wear. This is a very clean guitar with the case actually and the spec sheet. Humbucker single single combination, great versatile strat. This 1966 Fender strat from the first owner is also available right now. A beautiful new arrival. Take a look at the finish checking. All original finish. The only things on this guitar which were changed were the volume pot and the backplate. The backplate is replaced for a Fender Custom Shop Relic. Everything else on this guitar is stock. Beautiful finish checking right. So if you're looking for a one owner 1966 Fender Strat, they don't come much nicer than this. Take a look at rgvguitars.com for all the detailed pics, also pictures from the inside, the neck date. 
grey bottom pickups, all the good stuff. This is a Gibson ES125 from the year 1961. This guitar is an absolute stunner. Take a look at how clean it is. And if you zoom in, you can see the finish checking. I hope it shows on camera. And otherwise, you can see detail, detailed pictures on my website. Beautiful, fine checking. The only replaced parts on this one are the nut and the upper piece of the bridge. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Now onto something not so traditional. A 2017 ES335 in this aqua blue finish with a one piece top and a one piece back. Built by Gibson Memphis with block inlays, Grover tuners and it comes with the original case, certificate and checklist. So a pretty versatile bunch, but we're not ready yet. A guitar I don't have a lot. I have a lot of Strats and Telecasters, but a Fender Jaguar is pretty rare at my shop. And this one is a 60th anniversary in candy apple red finish. It's a limited edition guitar from the year 2022 to celebrate this beautiful model. Take a look at the beautiful metallic finish. The sticker is still in the pickguard. This is a very clean guitar. Only th issue I could find is that one of the latches of the case is broken, but it, the plastic is still on the handle. So that, that was an unfortunate event. So those were this week's arrivals. I hope you enjoyed them. Please take a look at rjvguitars.com for availability. And if you have something similar to sell or trade, please let me know. Always nice to hear from you. I also do consignments, so if you need help selling a guitar, I do that as well. Please also follow me on social media, rjvguitars on Instagram, Facebook. And for now, thanks a lot for watching. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.